from the capital city of Charleston, West Virginia, this is Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. Inside West Virginia Politics is brought to you by AARP West Virginia, your ally for real possibilities in the Mountain State. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inside West Virginia Politics. I'm your host, Mark Curtis, with my co-host, Adrian Robbins, and I guess the gentleman to your right needs no introduction, the governor of West Virginia, Republican Jim Justice. Great to have you on the program again, thank sir. You yeah, thank Thanks you so much, Governor. Thank you. So I'd like to start out with uh, a big announcement. It's one that you talked about during the State of the State Address. Uh, Ramico Carbon coming to West Virginia and building this facility. Tell us about the importance of this. Well, it's jobs. It's high-tech jobs. It's really good paying jobs. And basically, you're going to have people walking around in white suits determining what can be the best use for coal, you know, and how we can make materials out of coal and market it without taking it, you know, and burning it. Now, just imagine this. A barrel of oil is equivalent to a ton of coal. And that's what it is, okay? Now, here's the, here's the thing that you may, it may be difficult to understand is, is as far as carbon units. But from a carbon unit standpoint, coal is 30 times cheaper, 30 times. So therefore, what you could very well do is significantly raise the price of coal, significantly, which would give us more and more and more severance tax and make this product significantly cheaper than you could do it out of oil. And it would absolutely, it's just, it's just limitless what could happen with this. In the beginning, they'll start out in Charleston here with probably 10 jobs. And that'll grow very, very quickly to 50. And it's their goal to go to 100. But in addition to that, in addition to that, Ramico has two sites, mining sites in West Virginia and a great big mining site in Wyoming, and they're doing all this research and everything in Wyoming. And so in addition to that, they're looking at right after that, doing a plant in southern West Virginia that is the real deal. This is an experimental plant to learn what they can do. The plant in southern West Virginia would be real manufacturing. Governor, we're going to get to the, the meat of the state of the state address in a minute, but I do want to get your reaction. Your attorney, George Terwilliger, was here this week and announced that he had been told by the U.S. Justice Department that you and your family members have been cleared of any wrongdoing in that investigation. Your reaction? Well, Mark, to just tell it like it is, here's the deal. You know, that went on for a year. It was brutally tough on my family and tough on me, especially tough on Jay and Jill's families. I kept telling everybody all along that no matter what you look at, there ain't going to be anything to find because we may make a mistake, but there's no chance on earth that we're going to do anything that we know is wrong to benefit ourselves. There's no chance. So they went through all kinds of different stuff and everything, and at the end of the day, they couldn't find anything. And I really, I could be, and it was horrendously expensive. And on top of all that, it was tremendously st stressful. But let me end with just this. I am very respectful of the job they did because they're there to protect us. Just me saying there's nothing there doesn't really mean anything, but really at the end of the day, they looked at everything and then said, we agree. So from that standpoint, there's surely a relief and a satisfaction, but at the same time, it was tough, really tough, really stressful. Have a lot of people look at you in a different way. It's not any fun, especially when you know you haven't done anything. So uh, glad it's over. Moving now to the state of the state address this week, uh, I, I've got to ask you, I've heard a lot of Democrats say that they felt like you painted too rosy of a picture of the state of West Virginia. Uh, do you think that maybe you are seeing it, especially the economy, through rose-colored glasses? Well, I would, say, I would say this to everybody, you know, look at my track record. Just look at what I've done. I mean, for crying out loud, look what I've done. I took over a bankrupt Greenbrier, it's on and on and on. I've done, I've done, and done, and done, and done, and done. Whether it be a basketball team, the Greenbrier, the Pinnacle Mine, no matter what it is, that's what I do. Sure, I look at it positively. I can't stand people that are sticks in the mud. But to think that West Virginia today is not rosy, I mean, compared to when I walked in the door, 
with $500 million deficits and a 4.055 budget. Now we're, we're, we're presenting a budget that's less than last year and, and we're getting criticized and it's $500 million higher than when I walked in the door. Got to ask you, was your favorite moment of the state of the state was when you handed out all the orange vests? I got mine. Well, <laughs> I, you know. I Look at a bunch of traffic cones in there last night. And we're, we're knocking it out of the park. We're trying to take care of all the roads. And uh, I loved what the lady that cut my hair said when she said her brother, you know, drives on all these back, back, back roads. And he said, I don't know how anybody could be upset because they're even paving the roads I drive on. And so, so really, at the end of the day, uh, good stuff, good stuff. A lot of, we're getting a, we're getting a big bump from the standpoint of jobs. We're getting a big bump from the standpoint of we're, we're, we're really fixing our roads. All right, we look forward to working with I you for the rest of the. Back. I think Woody Williams was the only one. <laughs> All right, I'm giving it back to the governor. Everybody knows I'm not running around with state property. Anyway, we'll have more of Inside West Virginia politics after this break. And thanks, Governor, for being All right, here. Mark, thank you guys so much. You guys are great.